Picture this. It's a hazy summer evening, cicadas serenading the twilight. You're sprawled on the living room carpet, your eyes locked onto a flickering screen. The year is 1987, and something extraordinary has just invaded your television set, Degrassi High. A show that was more than just a series, it was a portal to the world of teenage trials and tribulations. As the iconic theme music filled your ears, you found yourself transported into the tumultuous lives of Joey, Caitlin, Snake, and their friends, navigating the treacherous waters of high school. Memories come flooding back like waves crashing on the shores of nostalgia. The awkward first kisses, the heartbreaks that felt like the end of the world, and the enduring friendships that formed the backbone of the series. Each character was a mirror reflecting our own teenage angst, dreams, and dilemmas. Degrassi High wasn't just a show, it was a rite of passage, a touchstone of the 80 seconds that resonated with anyone who ever felt the sting of adolescence. Now, let's dive deeper into the world of Degrassi High and unearth some fascinating, behind-the-scenes tidbits that will make you appreciate this classic even more. Hold on to your seats, it's about to get interesting. 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 Degrassi High, a Canadian TV series that aired in 1987, emerged as a groundbreaking teen drama that delved into the lives of a diverse group of high school students. Stemming from the earlier series, The Kids of Degrassi Street and Degrassi Junior High, this show continued to explore real-life issues faced by adolescents. Its enduring legacy was built upon its authentic portrayal of teenage struggles, addressing topics like relationships, identity, bullying and substance abuse in a raw and relatable manner. The series boasted a roster of iconic characters, including Joey Jeremiah, the affable class clown, and Caitlin Ryan, the passionate activist. Their compelling stories and evolving relationships captivated viewers, making them enduring figures in the world of teen television. What set Degrassi High apart was its unique style of storytelling devoid of melodrama and sensationalism. It presented its narratives with a sense of realism, allowing audiences to connect with the characters on a personal level. The show's commitment to tackling difficult subjects with sensitivity contributed to its profound impact on popular culture, as it served as a precursor to more contemporary teen dramas. Degrassi High remains a touchstone for those who appreciate the genuine portrayal of adolescent experiences and the lasting influence it has had on subsequent teen-oriented programming. Its legacy endures, a testament to its timeless relevance and emotional resonance in the realm of television. The Grassy High trivia from the 1987 TV series in the world of Canadian teen drama, De Grassy High made its mark in the late 80 seconds. While the show may have been forgotten by some, there are a few intriguing tidbits about it that stand out. 1. Hat Mastroianni's consistent presence One notable fact is that throughout the entire run of Degrassi High, Pat Mastroianni remained a constant presence. He appeared in nearly every episode of the series. Mastroianni's portrayal of Joey Jeremiah left an indelible mark on the show and its viewers, making him an enduring face of Degrassi High. 2. The mystery of Mr. Radich's first name. Another interesting nugget is that Mr. Radich, the stern but well-meaning schoolteacher, had the first name Daniel. This mirrored the name of the actor who portrayed him, Dan Woods. The show's creators may have enjoyed this little touch of symmetry when naming the character. 3. Aaron Spelling's missed opportunity. In 1990, renowned TV producer Aaron Spelling expressed interest in buying the rights to the Degrassi series. However, this proposition was declined. In response, Spelling went on to create his own iconic teen drama, Beverly Hills, 90,210, which became a sensation in the early 90 seconds. It's fascinating to consider how the television landscape might have been different if Degrassi High had fallen into Spelling's hands. In conclusion, Degrassi High holds some intriguing secrets, from Pat Mastroianni's unwavering presence to the curious connection between Mr. Radich and Dan Woods. Additionally, the declined offer by Aaron Spelling to acquire the series' rights adds a layer of what-if to the show's history. 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 In the 1987 TV series Degrassi High, some interesting behind-the-scenes facts add to the show's charm. One noteworthy instance is in the episodes titled Degrassi High, Bad Blood, Part 1 in Degrassi High, Bad Blood, Part 2. Neil Hope stood in for Darren Brown for the scene where Dwayne had a blood test taken from his arm. 
Why? Well, it turns out that Darren Brown had a fear of needles, so Neil Hope stepped in to help out. Additionally, the show had a few crew members who made on-screen appearances. For instance, art director Judy Shiner appeared as a customer at Spike's mom's salon in the episode Degrassi High. It's late. Picture editor Robert DeLint had a cameo as a cashier in Degrassi High. Great expectations. Even Susan Nielsen, one of the show's writers, played the role of Lauella, the caretaker of Degrassi Junior High, in the episodes Degrassi High, Dog Days, and Degrassi High, Season's Greetings. Lastly, as the characters progressed from junior high to high school, the show's dynamics shifted. Joey was a frequent visitor to the office of the vice principal, Mr. Lawrence, during junior high. However, by the time he entered high school, he became a frequent visitor to the principal's office with Mr. Radich. These intriguing tidbits shed light on the unique and collaborative nature of the Degrassi High series, both on and off the screen. They add layers to the show's history and the dedicated team behind its success. 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 In the 1987 TV series Degrassi High, there is an interesting tidbit involving the script supervisor, Selene Strowski. She made an appearance in one episode titled Degrassi High, Little White Lies. In this episode, she played the role of a streetwalker who flirts with Joey. It's a noteworthy behind-the-scenes moment when a crew member steps into the spotlight. Additionally, the character Joey in the series is portrayed as having dysgraphia, a condition that makes it challenging to write coherently. This aspect of Joey's character adds depth to the show's representation of various issues faced by teenagers. Furthermore, Kirsten Bourne, who played Tessa Campanelli, was a fan favorite in the series. However, she didn't initially have a recurring role. Despite her popularity, Kirsten's character started as a minor one and only became a recurring character in the very last season. This shows how the show evolved over time, with some characters gaining prominence as the series progressed. These facts shed light on some interesting aspects of Degrassi High, from behind-the-scenes moments to the development of fan-favorite characters. Characters. In the 1987 TV series Degrassi High, a noteworthy fact is that Sue Johansson, the host of the Sunday Night Sex Show, lent her voice to the character Dr. Sally, a sex expert. Dr. Sally appeared in the episode Degrassi High, Great Expectations. At the time, Sue Johansson hosted a radio show called Sex with Sue. She also made an on-screen appearance in another episode titled Degrassi High, The Whole Truth. Later on, Sue Johansson reprised her role as Dr. Sally in two episodes of Degrassi, The Next Generation, namely Degrassi, The Next Generation, The Mating Game and Degrassi, The Next Generation, Careless Whisper. This crossover between Sue Johansson's real-life expertise and her character in the show added a unique element to Degrassi High, addressing important issues in an informative way. For icons and addiction, the tragic stories of substance abuse among Degrassi High's cast members in vintage Hollywood in the late 1980s, the TV series Degrassi High captured the hearts of viewers with its raw portrayal of teenage life. However, behind the scenes, some cast members faced battles with addiction that would haunt them in their Hollywood careers. Joey Jeremiah, played by Pat Mastroianni, struggled with substance abuse during and after the show. He battled addiction to drugs and alcohol, which hindered his career prospects. Mastroianni's journey through addiction shed light on the harsh reality of fame and its pitfalls. Another cast member, Lucy Fernandez, portrayed by Anais Grinovsky, also grappled with addiction. Her battle with drugs and alcohol hindered her ability to find steady work in Hollywood. Despite her talent, the demons of addiction overshadowed her promising career. These stories of addiction among Degrassi High's cast members serve as a sobering reminder of the dark side of fame. Despite their on-screen success, some faced personal struggles that threatened to derail their Hollywood dreams. In vintage Hollywood, substance abuse was a pervasive issue, affecting even the most promising talents. Degrassi High's cast members were not immune to this struggle, highlighting the need for support and understanding in the entertainment industry. The tragic stories of addiction among Degrassi High's cast members serve as a cautionary tale for aspiring actors, showing that fame can come at a steep price. It is essential to remember that behind the glamour of Hollywood, real people face real challenges, and their stories deserve to be told. Be told be told. The Mask of Perfection, Degrassi High's cast struggle with depression behind the glamour in the late 1980s. The TV series Degrassi High held a special place in the hearts of many viewers. 
While it offered a glimpse into the lives of high school students dealing with typical teenage issues, behind the scenes, some cast members grappled with far more profound battles, battles with depression. One cast member, whose identity remains undisclosed, projected an image of perfection on screen, but was quietly waging a war with depression off screen. This hidden struggle shed light on the stark contrast between their public image and private pain. Fame often seems like an endless journey to outsiders, but the fleeting nature of stardom can take a toll on mental health. The cast member's depression was exacerbated by the pressure to maintain a flawless facade in the public eye, even as they battled inner demons. The cast member's journey in Hollywood took an unexpected turn when they chose to step away from the limelight. They decided to prioritize their mental health over the allure of fame, a brave choice that deserves recognition. The story of this cast member serves as a reminder that depression can affect anyone, regardless of their outward appearance or success. It also underscores the importance of addressing mental health issues openly and seeking help when needed. In the world of entertainment, where the spotlight often obscures the struggles happening in the shadows, the story of Degrassi High's cast member is a poignant reminder that behind the glamour, real battles are being fought. Ot, ot, ot. As we bid adieu to the world of Degrassi High, it's a moment that beckons reflection. This iconic series, born in 1987, continues to resonate with us, a timeless testament to the enduring trials and tribulations of youth. Its characters were more than just faces on a screen. They were friends, confidants, mirrors reflecting our own adolescent struggles and triumphs. As you look back on your personal journey with Degrassi High, think of the moments that made you laugh, cry, and empathize. The episodes that stayed with you long after the screen went dark. The characters whose stories touched your heart. Was it Joey's enduring charm or Spike's unwavering resilience? Perhaps it was the messy, real-life dilemmas faced by the students that felt all too relatable. We invite you to share your favorite memories, characters, or thoughts about Degrassi High. Your connection to this series is a part of its enduring legacy. Whether it's a heartfelt reflection on the impact it had on your life or a lighthearted anecdote about a favorite episode, your voice adds to the rich tapestry of Degrassi High's history. Your stories are the threads that weave together the fabric of this iconic show, a show that continues to inspire and connect generations. So, take a moment to share your thoughts, relive those cherished moments, and celebrate the enduring spirit of Degrassi High. Thank you for your time and your enduring interest in this remarkable series. Together, we keep the legacy of Degrassi High alive. Share your memories and thoughts below, and let's keep the conversation going.